Now we're going to explore graphing a parabola without our calculators. That's right. Put those calculators down. It's time to graph without the calculator. Now our first step for this will be to find our vertex. Very important point. Kind of think of that as almost like your starting point. It's right in the middle. Think of it as like our starting point. And then we're going to plot two points on each side of that vertex to give us that wonderful parabolic shape. Now, how do we find the vertex, you may be wondering, because I know you're always wondering those things. You're always a step ahead. Well, we have this handy-dandy formula right here to give us our x-coordinate of the vertex. So we know that x equals negative b over 2a. Remember how we said that a, b, and c would be very, very important? Well, here we go. a and b are in our formula to help us find the vertex. If we get our x-coordinate of the vertex, how do you think we can find the y-coordinate of the vertex? Why, that's absolutely right. You would plug x back in to then find our y-coordinate. Man, you are smart. So let's find our vertex of each of these parabolas. What I like to do first is write down a, b, and c. That helps me stay organized. So a is 1 because there's really nothing out in front here, which means that it's a 1. b is negative 6, and c is 12. Sweet. All right, next we have negative b over 2a. So we have x equals negative and then negative b, well, sorry, negative 6 over 2 times a, a is 1. So we got to watch out for that. When we have b that is a negative number, we have a negative times a negative makes it positive. So I get 6 over 2, which is 3. So my x value is 3. So my vertex, I've got half of it. I've got 3. Now I need to find my y coordinate. We want to fill this guy up right here. Well, we just talked about that. How are we going to do that? We're going to plug in 3 for x. We have f of 3 equals 3 squared. And I always like to put it in parentheses. Usually that comes in handy when it's a negative, but just as a good habit, let's always put that in parentheses when we're plugging something in for a variable. Alrighty, so what I have is 9 minus 18 plus 12. So 9 minus 18 is negative 9 plus 12 gives me positive 3. And it's just a coincidence that it is the same number as the x-coordinate. It's not always going to be that way, but for this one we get 3, 3 for our vertex. Sweet! Let's try the next one. For this one I have a, b, and c. We have a is negative 2 this time, b is positive 12, and c is negative 10. Really the only ones that are going to matter here for our vertex are these first two here because those are the two that are in our formula. So let's get through our formula. x equals, and we have negative b, so negative 12 over 2 times negative 2 because a is negative 2. So I have negative 12 over negative 4 equals 3. Sweet. Once again, coincidence that it's also 3. We'll see what we get for the y-coordinate this time. So let's plug in 3 for x. And we have negative 2, 3 squared, plus 12 times 3, minus 10. So let's move it up here. 3 squared is 9, so we get negative 2 times 9. Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. We have 12 times 3 which is 36, minus 10. Well, negative 18 plus 36 gives me positive 18. Positive 18 minus 10 would give me positive 8. So my ordered pair would be 3, 8 for my vertex. Bada boom, bada bang, we're done.